have you ever wondered why do we need standardization or why do we need to convert a normal distribution into standard normal distribution we are going to discuss the same with the help of appropriate example in today's video but before going ahead let's see how to do standardization with the help of z-score or how z-score helps us in doing standardization okay so what is z-score z-score tells us how much standard deviation away a particular point is from the mean if i have to ask you how much standard deviation away mean is from itself it is nothing but zero right mean is zero standard deviation away from itself right because it is exactly the same point okay that is the reason in standard normal distribution we take mean as zero this is also one of the questions we get in interviews why the standard normal distribution mean is zero okay keep this thing in mind so that score formula is given as z is equal to x minus mu by sigma where x is that the point that we are talking about mu is nothing but the mean and sigma is standard deviation okay now we have done we have talked enough about z score and standardization but the question still remains why do we need to standardize okay we'll try to answer this question by question yes so this question goes like there are two neighbors Varma ji and Sharma ji and they're talking about their son's performance in their respective exams okay and the below are the marks obtained by them okay so Varma ji's son or Varma ji ka beta scored 65 marks in mathematics okay while Sharma ji's son scored 80 marks in English since 80 is greater than 65 okay so Sharma is telling that his son scored better okay but can you help both Varma ji and Sharma ji in deciding whose son performed better okay and given the distribution about the exam and mathematics formula normal distribution would mean 60 and standard deviation 4 whereas English follows normal distribution with mean 79 and standard deviation is 2 okay see mathematically this is true this claim is true okay but statistically speaking since you know the variability between both the exams is different we cannot compare both just by looking at the scores right what i mean to say is the way students performed in english may be different from the way students performed in mathematics exam right so how do we go ahead and solve this problem trivial problem so in order to compare we have to utilize the deviations what is that deviation that is the deviation from the mean okay something related to what we have just studied in z score okay in other words we have to express the deviation from the mean per unit standard deviation now the mean per unit standard deviation is nothing but r z score so can i write z score mean per unit standard deviation right keep this thing in mind so unknowingly we are going to calculate z score for both varma ji ka beta as well as sharma ji ka beta okay so z score or mean per unit standard deviation for varma ji ka beta came out to be 65 minus 60 which is the mean upon 4 which is the standard deviation is equal to 5 by 4 or 1.25 similarly for Sharma ji ka beta it came out as 0 0.5 okay so what we have done is by calculating the z score we have standardized the scores we can easily say that by doing the standardization we have brought both the scores into the same scale what i mean to say is now we have standard normal distribution with mean is equal to 0 why mean is equal to 0 as discussed z score is given as x minus mu upon sigma okay so mean itself this particular point how much standard deviation is mean away from itself okay so mu minus mu upon sigma which is 0 upon sigma which is 0 that is the reason mean for standard normal distribution is given as 0 okay now not going into this but just plotting both the scores on standard normal distribution okay so here's Sharma's son is 
0.5 whereas Verma's son is at 1.25 Z score okay that clearly shows that Verma Jika beta outperformed Sharma Jika beta okay which usually don't happen here this gives you one of the reasons why we need to standardize or we need to convert normal distribution into standard normal distribution thanks for watching